We have just discussed rebasing with quashing and I have demonstrated you how to perform this task rebasing with quashing of specific pull request at GitHub. It is very easy, just a single button click. But if you want to do the same locally, it is a bit more complicated and it requires performing over rebasing with option interactive or dash i. Let's try to do that, but uh, first uh, let's create one more branch feature too. Let's make several commits there and after that perform rebasing with quashing. It is actually interactive rebasing. Let's do that. I am still in rebasing with quashing repository. There are two branches, git branch and there is master branch and feature one branch. Actually, I am able to delete feature one branch. It is not needed anymore. We have already merged it. git branch dash d feature one and now let's create new branch git checkout dash b feature two like so and here in this branch let's create several files again pretty quickly touch file for the txt git add dot git commit dash m file form was created in the feature to branch. I want to be specific here in order to understand later on which commits we want to squash. Let's press enter, touch file5.txt, git add dot, git commit dash m, file5 was created in the feature to branch. One more file, touch file6.txt, git add dot, git commit dash m file 6 was created in the feature to branch okay three commits enough and uh, let's have a look at history git lg and uh, there are three commits made in feature to branch origin slash master origin slash head and master are pointing to this commit let's now perform interactive rebasing with quashing of all those three commits for that you need to use git rebase command with option dash i interactive and you need to either specify quantity of commits you want to rebase like head wave 3 in our case there are just three commits created in feature to branch but let me first show you first approach when you specify sha1 hash of specific commit that uh, comes before all commits that you want to squash and in our case, we want to rebase with quashing those three commits. And that's why I need to specify this SHA-1 hash of this commit as argument for git rebase command. Let's copy this SHA-1 hash. Again, it is last commit before creation of feature to branch. And here let's clear terminal and type git rebase dash i interactive. And here paste SHA-1 hash. And you'll see here this strange output. And you need to edit this file if you want to squash all commits into just single commit. And here in this file, you see actually three messages of all commits that we have created in feature to branch. And first comes first commit that was created at the very beginning of feature to branch. It is first commit that we have created. Here is second commit. And here is last commit when we have created file six in feature to branch. And if you want to squash all those three commits into single commit, you need to replace this peak and this peak with word squash. Or you can just use single letter S. Let's do that. Let's press I, insert. And here in insert mode, replace peak with S, stands for squash, and replace peak here with S as well. And now I am able to write changes to this file and afterwards git will create new single commit that will be based on those three commits created in feature to branch. Let's do that. Escape colon wq. Enter. And here you'll see commit message. This is a combination of three commits and below you'll see commit messages of all three commits that were created in feature to branch. And let's assume that we want to keep all those commit messages in a single commit that will be created afterwards. I am happy with that. Let's type again colon wq, enter, and rebasing was successful. Git has actually created just single commit instead of three commits in feature to branch. Let's now have a look at history in feature to branch. Git lg. 
and IELTS now only single commit instead of three commits. Git has replaced three commits with just single commit. But in this commit, it has incorporated all changes from previous three commits when we have created three files. And if I'll have a look at contents of working directory, ls, you'll see those files here on the list, file 4, file 5, and file 6. And now I am safely able to merge feature 2 branch into main master branch. Let's do that. Let's check out master branch, git checkout master, and let's merge feature 2 into master branch. git merge, dash v, and here type name of the branch, feature 2. Enter, and merging was successful. And as you see from this output, git has applied fast forward merge approach. And that is fully correct, because we have just performed rebasing. And from the section dedicated to rebasing, you know that the uh, purpose of rebasing is actually putting all commits uh, from specific feature branch on top of main base branch. And that allows afterwards just move pointer of the base branch to last commit in feature branch. That's what was done just by git here in this repository. Ok, let's have a look at history now in master branch, git log, and I'll see this last commit here in history where we have created three files. And this last commit looks pretty similar to this commit that was automatically created at GitHub when we have performed rebasing of squashing there. And that's how you are able to perform same operation locally on your computer. You need to use git rebase command with option dash i interactive and afterwards in a file that will contain several commits replace pick with squash or s. And um, as argument in uh, git rebase command, you need to pass sha1 hash of commit that was last commit before creation of specific feature branch. Of course, doing the same operation directly at GitHub is much more simple and uh, it is just a single button click, but I wanted to explain you how you are able actually to do the same locally in your local repository. Ok, that's all about rebasing with squashing. And in the next lecture, let me quickly explain you how a normal workflow looks like while you are working on development of specific feature branch. See you next. Bye-bye.